Hello everybody, this is Captain Sweep, your Victoria News Reporter for Planetary Guardians. Today we had a Bill C-51 protest in Victoria and it was spread all across Canada. Seventy cities supposedly took place and if Victoria was any indication, it was busy. People were loud and you could tell that people were pissed off about Bill C-51. You have to ask yourself a question. Would Stephen Harper lie to us? <laughs> What's to stop this bill from being used to spy on the government's political enemies? Uh, Mr. Speaker, we, we knew with the NDP it would be only a matter of a couple of weeks before we got into this kind of conspiracy theory. One of the things I wanted to do on this day was to get more coverage from the average Canadian who normally doesn't get a voice, especially the youth. What do people out there really think? What do they really want? I just want to live through love and sharing. I don't want any fear to be instilled in like in our hearts and in our children and for future generations. I want to be able to say what I feel and I want everyone to be able to say what they feel. So Bill C-51, no good, not for me. Mm, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Let's, uh, let's build gardens together and and poetry and music and yeah that's what i got to say free the vegetables canada is more than a country it's an ideal it's built on understanding treaties no matter how badly we actually obey them or respect them but there's a big difference with what bill c51 brings to canada it brings an energy that anyone could be dangerous to you, you live in fear of other people, and that fear is so also that you can have a secret police that you will then fear. Everything else said, some politicians know how to use the laws well. Stephen Harper has a really bad track record of it. Oil won't save Canada, money won't save Canada, though it's nice. Gardens, poetry, friends, family, maybe some hugs. That's what's <laughs> going to save Canada. Freedom of speech! Freedom is the most important thing we have. More hugs, no C-51. That's all I gotta say. Free the hugs! Oh yeah, buddy. <laughs> uh, you know, freedom of, uh, you know, expression. I want to live in a country that is free in every way, shape, and form. And I think that Bill, I know in my heart that Bill C-51 is, um, only going to serve one purpose and that is to create a very fearful population to create a very controlling environment to exist in and that's not the world that's that i want to live in it's not the world i want to bring my children up in and um so i really feel like there comes a time when people need to stand up and if there was a time in this country particularly right now that people need to stand up and say hell no we won't go then it's now. <laughs> Gardeners against Bill C-51. I'm for freedom of speech and for love in this world. C-51, no Bill C-51. <laughs> I also live in love, not in fear. I don't fear you or anyone. I love you. Steve, I just want you to chill out a little bit, man. Gardeners against Bill C-51. I say C-51 would be con clearly a con and I say no and, and they're only doing it to see if we'll we're awake enough to say no so I say no that that's wrong that's an abuse and I, I will not accept that so no to, no to that bill C-51 thank you <laughs> go home C-51 you're drunk on power <laughs> the government should work for the people not the other way around no secret police we're starting in Freedom, poetry, and love, and plant lots of plants. So what can you do? 
you can make a video. It's very simple with a phone and your laptop these days, or you don't even need a laptop. Load two minutes onto your iPhone, say what you think about Bill C-51, and then send it to your friends. It doesn't have to go everywhere. It just has to go through your network. If we just keep on going through our networks in small ways, showing that we want a different world, the world will respond. I would like to give thanks to all the people that have contributed to this video and all the people that came out across Canada to stand for truth and freedom against Bill C-51. I would like to send a message to all of the politicians in the Liberal Party. What are you doing? And I would like to send a message to the Conservative Party. What are you doing? And I would like to send a message to Prime Minister Stephen Harper. You're a nutball. And I would like to send a message to all the CSIS agents that are watching this right now. <laughs> We're your friends. We're nice. We don't want to blow anything up. We just want the right of free speech. We want the right of assembly. We want the right to transport ourselves. We want the right to make a living. We do not want a group of people attempting to disrupt our lives. They're bad enough as it is. Please, stay away. <laughs>